Hi, this is Tim Garman, teaching for SIT on the NZDP 101 course. Um, and this is particularly for Emma or anybody else that's struggling to resize an image. Uh, now, I'm, uh, Emma, I know you're on a Mac. I'm on a Mac too, so I'm going to uh, focus my instructions to uh, Mac. And I've set my screen up as you sent your screenshot to me, so it should look the same. Um, just a word about those pink uh, guidelines that you've got on your screenshot. Uh, they're simply guidelines to help you position things, and you can actually switch them off. I, I don't like them particularly. They, they annoy me, so I switch them off. And I um, just want to double check on my keyboard. I believe it's option U switches them on. They're on at the moment, you can see. So if I hit option U again, they should disappear. So option U if you want to turn those off. So as you can see, I've already flipped uh, the picture of Kate over. So it's uh, the same uh, position that yours is in. So I'm going to do, um, first I'm going to select it, but make sure firstly, you've got that layer selected. So here's my layers palette. Uh, I've got the two layers, the background and the image of Kate on another layer. And as you can see, that uh, Kate layer is selected. So then I can, with my rectangular marquee tool, I can draw a selection over her. And what I want to do is go up to the Edit menu and down to Transform, and we're, we're going to select Scale. And as soon as I do that, you see there's a bounding box around the image now uh, with anchor points at the corners and the centers. Uh, and when I mouse over that, my cursor changes to a directional arrow uh, cursor. So we're going to drag this, but we need to use uh, a key on the keyboard uh, because what that's going to do is it's going to constrain the proportions. We don't want to stretch or squash this image when we blow it up or reduce it. Uh, so uh, the command key, if I hold that down, as I drag, you see... Uh, that is remaining in proportion. Okay, so we go up and down uh, to whatever size we want. Now the other option is you can use the option key and you'll notice that um, just goes from, from a central point, but it's still doing the same thing, uh, dragging or enlarging or reducing in proportion. So make sure you use one of those keys, command uh, to enlarge or reduce in one direction or option to go out from the center. Doesn't matter which one in this case. Now you're gonna to want to match the sample image. So you're gonna to want to blow her up so she goes off the top of the, the screen. But also at the bottom, notice her shoulder. This shoulder is chopped. So we wanna hide that. So we wanna drag it down at the bottom like so. Um, and then uh, while we've still got this bounding box around, we can move her around as well. Um, so when you move her, if you hold the shift key down, it'll keep it straight. And uh, I haven't got the image in front of me, but I'm guessing it was roughly around about there that, that is the correct position. So position her, reduce, enlarge her, whatever you need to do to complete the task. When she's in the right place, if you double click that image now, you see the bounding box disappears. Um, and we've still got it selected because you can see the, the marching ants around the edge. If you want to turn that off, you can use a keyboard shortcut, which is Command D. But you'll also find that under Select, which is uh, not available now. There it is, Deselect. I've already done it. So Command D, as you can see, it says on the menu, uh, it would be available if the selection was still there. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Uh, email me if you get stuck any further.